Hey guys, today I want to discuss with you five tips I have discovered after playing through Archvale multiple times. This improved my play experience and I hope you enjoy it. First, take the time to observe enemies and learn the attack patterns. Archvale does a really good job of rewarding observation. So here's the first example of an enemy who has a pretty predictable attack pattern. Basically, he waits 8 seconds, makes a moo sound, then charges straight at you. After they collide with something, a circular spray attack comes out. A lot of foes in the game either give you an audio or visual cue that an attack is about to happen. For example, let's take a look at the jungle boss. So in order to defeat this boss, you have to destroy those small arms. However, the eyes are capable of attacks. You can see this example that the eye flashes a red circle right before attacking. This gives you a heads up that it's time to move back. Now if all else fails, let me share with you the circle strength. It's surprising how often this works and how many bullet games this works on. You can see I was standing still and took a hit and realized I needed to start moving. My favorite technique to employ when I'm uncertain of what to do is to move around the enemy in a circle. This way, if they're firing where I am, I'm never overlapping the area and taking a stray bullet. If you ever find yourself in a bad situation, give this a try. Next, let's talk about protection gear. It really is a great idea to carry some with you at all times. So in this example, I found a fountain and decided I want some extra hearts for the next area. What I can do is put on some protection gear, visit the fountain to get those hearts, place my old gear back on, and now I have the benefits of my superior gear and the protection hearts don't go away. I basically got free protection hearts without the drawbacks of inferior gear. Now I can proceed through this area with my extra hearts and defeat the enemies. Here is my best guesstimation of how the game calculates damage. Let me know in the comments if you discover a better formula. On the test I ran, I came up with damage minus armor times 0.24 plus any remaining armor values from the last calculation is how the game calculates damage. Basically the game only gives damage in whole numbers, so anything not a whole number that was left over is added into that next damage event. Once again, this is most likely not perfect but close enough that I can make predictions on damage outputs. In this example, I take a hit for 25 damage at 79 armor. Now, I'm going to change out my ring to increase my armor by 20, giving me 99 armor. Okay, quiz time. Using that armor formula, how much damage do you think I'm going to take now? If you guessed between 20 and 21 damage, you got it right. As you can see, armor is not completely useless, however I would prioritize other stats when picking gear. My fourth tip is to focus on enemies in order of threat. On the screen, I've listed the order of enemies I want to deal with based on the next example. This may be something you do naturally, but it's a good idea to be aware of which enemies you need off the screen quickly and which ones can hang around without creating big threat. Basically, enemies that fill the screen with bullets or that have an increased chance of hitting me, I want off the screen first. Whenever you begin exploring a new area, start making a mental list of enemies you want to remove quickly. I know this is a simple tip, but it can make a big difference having your priorities in order.
Lastly is damage to the moon. The best defense is a quickly defeated enemy. They can't kill me if they're taking a dirt bath. My biggest priority in here is to focus on damage and attack speed. In this example, I'm going to show you how quickly you can kill the final boss with a high damage output set. This clip is going to show me defeating the last boss, so if you don't want to see it, I'd advise you not finishing the video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.